Hello everybody, my name is Manny Crazy Gold and today we're going to be talking about the new Naxxramas 10.1.5 uh, uh, patch that is coming out in July the 11th and how to really make a lot of gold with it with the new ancient plans and recipes that are coming out. So first of all we have the war torn scrap and these are sellable to the Oxhounds as well. So these will be getting in Naxxramas somehow by defeating mobs I'm guessing and these will drop. So the best items that you can get right now, obviously, for them to start crafting these, uh, you will need to farm up or even buy up items. So the Arcanite bars, you've got an Essence of Undead. These are, have skyrocketed in value. They're about 230 gold at the moment. Uh, obviously, region-wide, they're the same price on each server. Uh, in EU, they're about 230 gold. I don't know about US, so if you guys check that up, it could be more or less. Um, and then we've got fell cloth. These are about 100 gold each. Uh, Frost ruins, they drop in Max Ramus. Not at the moment, not until the patch comes out. Just walk up to the walls, or near the wall, you see shiny things. And the shiny glow near the walls, and you'll see a frozen ruin. Just click on it, and you should get that in your bags. Uh, we've got on here a bolt of rune cloth, they were simple to make anyway. We've got dark ruins, uh, enchanted thorium bars, pristine black diamonds. These were a headache to get for the Zulgurub ancient recipes. And same again, you'll have to get these. There's a bunch of these as well. Uh, two, six, and four down here. So there's quite a lot of these you need to get. There are about 500 gold at the auction house. Uh, you could really invest in these. I did myself. I invested about 2 million gold bars. Well, Arcanite bars. As you can see, they're all the same items. I need loads of these. You've got Felcloth again. As Death. Dark Ruins. Same again. We've got Large Fang here. Then we've got Cursed Rubbed Hide. We've got Rubbed Leather. Enchanted Leather. So really the main ones that you'll be needing obviously are the Essence of One Death, Ghost Eye, and even Pristine Black Diamonds. That's what I'm going, that's what I put my most of my gold into, buying these Pristine Black Diamonds up. And then again we've got Essence of Death. As you can see there's loads of Essence of Death all over the place. So if you guys are doing that right now, start farming them up. Iron Web, Spider Silk. Then as you can see you need more Ghost Eye, more 40, 20, 16. Quite loads of these around but most of these what you need is the essence of one death so if you guys start farming that up right now you'll be making a lot of gold an hour it's about 80k an hour because you can get the essence of one death and the dark ruins from one same farm i already uploaded it i'll make sure to put it in the, the description for a link there for you guys to click on it and go see what the farm is as you can see there's a whole load of different items Obviously the main ones are Essence on Death, Dark Ruins, Black Pristine Diamonds, Righteous Orbs as well, Pristine Black Diamonds, I've already said that, Fell Cloth, Ghost Eye, and Arcanite Bars as well. That's the main one that you'll be needing, so stock up on those, and Golden Pearl too. So that's the first one that I wanted to talk about was the War Tone Scraps, and then we've got another one as well. So over here we've got the frozen ruin, this is another set of items that we need to start farming up as all materials. So we've got frozen ruins, they're not dropping at the moment, you'll have to wait until the patch comes out. We've got an alt of rune cloth, essence of water, and we need a couple of these as well as you can see. So start farming these too. Iron web spider silk, a bunch of them. Arcanite bars again, thorium bars, and then you need to do some skinning, and that is heavy scorpion scales. To farm them up in surface, hunted leather, and then we've got cursed rubbed hide. So these are a bunch of items that you'll need as well. So you can stockpile these up now, or just even just sell them to the auction house, make a lot of gold from. And that is obviously another set of items. And then lastly, we have the phylacter weave. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, obviously these will be dropping when the new patch comes out. Obviously, um, and you will be needing. A bunch of iron for these ones. So the phylactery weave, obviously you've been needing fell cloth, dark ruins, essence on death, frozen ruins, 
and then over here you can see a purifying belt, boots, braces, chest piece, gauntlets, helmet, leggings, shoulders. So if you need each one of these items you can craft up. You'll need 70 phylacter weave, I think it's pronounced that, and 10 righteous orbs. These have spiked value like crazy. They are around about 800 gold at the moment in the auction house. From 300 gold to 800 gold each. Um, obviously these are farmed through a dungeon and really they're hard to drop even. You might even get one per run, a percent uh, chance drop to get one of these in the dungeon. But however you can get one to about three if you've got lucky RNG. I have made a video about this already so go check that out, how to farm these up. These will be in high demand just because you will need 80 per character. And depending on how many characters you've got and how many items you need or sets you need just for that character uh, it's going to be quite a lot of these righteous orbs and i don't think we'll have enough of these unless blizzard will uh, dump down the value of the righteous orbs uh, to about two or three but the way it's going right now these will be in high demand so they'll be selling from about a thousand gold each at the moment so if you want to farm so they go farm these up as well and again down here we've got the same item that you can see arcanite bars essence from death dark ruins so there's so many items to farm up you got this one set over here to farm up for the phylacter weave because that's how you, you pronounce it and then for the frozen ruins you got a bunch of these items to farm up as well and then lastly for the war torn scraps you have so many items to go out there and go start making gold from so hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully it gives you a lot of items to look at and go see what you want to go farm up. And you can just make a spreadsheet or even go onto the auction house and just list them as favourites and see all the values of all the items. Then from there you can take it from there and see which items that you want to go out there and go and farm and which ones you want to stockpile. I will highly recommend that you farm up loads of essence of undeath as these will be high in value obviously as they're selling for 250 gold and they're very easy to obtain even you would go with the righteous orbs as well as they will be in high demand hopefully you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one bye, -bye.